You know, I just had an idea. You probably heard how important it is to have clean grooves, new grooves, new wedges for spin. Hold the greens, back spin, all that sort of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test that theory today. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. I grabbed an old wedge, 54 degree Cleveland, RTX 3. I also have the brand new sparkling 54 degree RTX 4 Cleveland wedge. Still in the plastic. Gripping everything. Haven't even used it. I'm going to do a test and I'm going to take the RTX 3 and with grooves full of dirt see what kind of spin numbers I get. I'll clean the grooves and I'll see what kind of spin numbers I get after that. And then I'll take the RTX 4 and compare the spin numbers of that. So we'll look at a wedge with dirty grooves versus a wedge with clean grooves versus a wedge with new grooves. So the first thing I have to do is get these grooves nice and dirty. So I hit some wet shots. Alright guys, I don't want the superintendent to be too upset with me, but uh, I will hit some out of the fairway. I hit those out of the first cut. I will hit some out of the fairway, and of course I'll replace my divots. So tempting to clean that dirt off. I will have to clean this big glob of mud that we have on there. For the most part, I got some, a significant amount of of dirt in the actual grooves of this wedge. So I think this is gonna be a good test. Let's see how these numbers compare. I'll be right back guys. So far I hit the the dirty wedge shots. I'm gonna take the plastic off of this RTX4 wedge. It's a nice looking wedge. I'm gonna take the plastic off of this. I'm gonna hit some 30 yarders, some 45 yarders, and some 60 yarders. And uh, I'll get back to you with the results. At 30 yards, the launches were pretty similar and the descents were pretty similar, but the dirty wedge did have 300 RPMs less spin than the clean wedge and 400 RPMs less spin than the new wedge. At 45 yards, the dirty wedge launched higher. The descents were pretty similar. Somehow the clean wedge actually launched lower and the descent was lower, but the spin Again, on the dirty wedge was 300 RPMs less than the clean wedge and 500 RPMs less spin than the new wedge. At 60 yards, the launches were pretty similar, but the descent on the clean and new wedge was a lot steeper, helping the ball stop faster than the dirty wedge. And also, the spin was, again, more with the clean wedge and the new wedge. Hi guys, I hope you got something out of the video. I did expect a little bit more difference in spin rate on the dirty wedge versus the clean wedge and also versus the new wedge. However, it is obvious that the new wedge performed a lot better than the old wedge. I think this test does show that it is important to keep your wedges clean, keep your grooves clean, and uh, change wedges whenever you can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. I was to go, just play 13. Need to palm my way in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just